So here we are in Amazon's Manage Pricing page. We've installed NeuroPrice with one click and it sits right up here at the top. You hit options to expand the controls and this is where the magic happens. What do you say I go ahead and show you how to set up price and rules entirely from scratch? So we're gonna start with the books category. Most of my inventory is books. So let's head down here and we'll just hit the ground running. So let's just say for books that are in real high demand, one to 50,000 sales rank range, let's say we are gonna price 10% lower than the third lowest FBA price. And all my inventory is FBA, so that's gonna define heavily how I set my rules. Your rules may be different. And by the way, we can add as many rules as we want. So let's just go ahead and say for books that are selling slightly less briskly, let's say uh, 50,000 to 250,000, we are going to price, let's say $1 higher than the second lowest FBA price. And let's say for books beyond that, 250,000 to a million, let's just go ahead and say we're gonna match the buy box price for all books in that strata. And then let's say for the books that are really out there in the stratosphere sales rank wise, a million and beyond, let's just go ahead and say we are going to match the lowest overall price, no matter whether it's buy box or not, and just get it out the door. Okay, so we set some basic pricing rules. Next step is to head up here to the top. These are our global settings. And we're not gonna use all of these all the time, but I'm gonna walk you through very briefly what they are. We've got options like excluding SKUs based on any text string you add. Very, very useful. We're gonna skip that one for now. You can choose to not reprice an entire category. You can choose to ignore acceptable condition items. So items that are in the poorest demand, we can go ahead and tell NeuroPrice, hey, don't consider these competitive. So if you see any competitors with an acceptable condition offer, just go ahead and ignore it. I'm gonna skip that one. You can choose to compare same condition or better. And you can also choose to compare new to new and used to use only. I like that setting, so we're going to set that one. You can also set some basic parameters to prevent NeuroPrice from ever pricing your inventory way out in the stratosphere price-wise or way too low, so you're getting less than you want to. So let's just go ahead and say to prevent some any accidental mistakes, just as a safeguard, let's just say we're never going to raise a price more than $50, and let's just go ahead and say we're never going to drop a price more than 50%, and let's say let's never price anything lower than $10. And if there's no offers at all, in other words, we're the only seller for an item, let's go ahead and set a default price of 99. And we always wanna price below Amazon because it's really hard to price higher than Amazon and get a sale. So let's just go ahead and say we're always gonna price $2 below Amazon. Okay, so we set our settings, everything's dialed in. Remember, you only have to do this once and then you can set and forget. So we're gonna hit save save the rules and now every time we log in these rules will be saved for this particular category and you can set different rules for every single category on amazon once everything checks out we just go ahead and hit reprice and let neuroprice work its magic boom neuroprice has repriced an entire page of inventory and while it's not entirely necessary you can always double check your prices before you save them remember these haven't been locked in yet we have to hit the save button up here so you can see what the old price was and then obviously see what the new price is here so you can see exactly how it's changed and before you commit everything looks good we go ahead and hit save and boom we just were priced hundreds of items in seconds another set of features i haven't even talked about yet let's just say you've got inventory that you want to give some special attention to either you want to reprice it manually or you just want to dig a little deeper to make sure you're setting the best possible rules NeuroPrice embeds an entirely new column of data right here on the Manage Pricing page. And you can see there's a 12 month pricing history chart, there is a 12 month sales history chart, and a price pop up for the lowest five used and new in both merchant fulfilled and FBA, giving you an in depth look at the data that you need to make intelligent pricing decisions. So that's it, you guys. NeuroPrice is here, the world's simplest and best repricing tool. Go ahead and hit the link next to this video and get started on your free trial, and I'll see you over there.